Hi guys, I really missed you. I know I've been gone for a very long time, but don't worry, I didn't forget about you guys. I was writing a story for you guys. It's called Lucy and the Endless Diary of Books. I'm writing a whole book about this, but today I'm only gonna read a chapter for you. Let's begin, let's begin. Lucy and the Endless Diary of Books. Once upon a time there lived a girl named Lucy. Lucy was a girl who lived with her single mother, who worked as a shoemaker and cleaner. How interesting! Even though they didn't have much money, and they lived in a tiny, teensy house, they were always happy. But one day, Lucy's mom went to make shoes for the king himself. Wow, royal! Whose wife had just died. Aww, I feel so bad! While she was making the shoes, the king fell in love with her mm. and later proposed. She immediately said yes and Lucy moved to the castle. There, Lucy met her stepsister and stepbrother. I hope they're not evil like in the story Snow White. They welcomed her and Lucy was very happy. Lucy always wanted to read but never had the money and time. In the castle, there was a library. She was so excited and happy. She immediately started to read. She looked at all the books, but then she saw a book that was glowing. Ooh, I've never seen that. I wish I could. She had never seen such a thing in her life. She went and picked it up. It blinded her by the strong light, and then she magically got into the book. How and when did I miss this? Ooh, she screamed, and then she landed in a pile of flowers. Next to her, sitting, was a beautiful young fairy. Oh, I wish I could see that. The fairy had a sparkling dress and wings. Oh, hi! I see you made it, Lucy, exclaimed the fairy. Lucy was so shocked. How did she know my name? How did I even end up here? She screamed. Ha ha ha, laughed the fairy. You are in the land of the diary of never-ending books. What? Even is that place? It's a never-ending book of adventures. Whoa, said Lucy. I must be in a dream. No, it's totally true. In fact, your adventure starts now. Then the fairy threw a flow up in the air and suddenly Lucy was on the flower. Oh, that's really magical and cool. The flower was huge, but still flying up in the air. And then Lucy discovered something very amazing. She could control the magic flying flower. Up, down, left, right. Cool. I'd be really love to fly in a flower and be able to control it. As she was flying, she looked in all directions and saw magical things like elves, mermaids, unicorns, and other amazing things. Wow, I'd really like to see an elf or a unicorn. While she was flying, she saw a princess crying for help in a desert full of colorful sand. Oh, I feel bad for the princess, but colorful sand in a desert? Well, that's something I've never seen. Lucy landed next to her and asked, what happened? The princess said, Oh, thank you, Queen Flower, that you sent help. Please, little girl, help me. An evil wizard stole my magic crown and carriage. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Of course I will help you, said Lucy. Where did he go? Lucy asked. The princess replied, He went to the evil wizard town. Oh, that's nowhere I want to be. Where is that? asked Lucy. Let me lead the way, said the princess. 
Soon they arrived at the scary, dark place, and all around it there were black houses. The princess then said, Shh, shh, be quiet, because if one of the witches or wizards sees us, we will be captured. Oh, I never want to be captured by a wizard or a witch. The princess then led Lucy to one of the houses and said, I know a way for us to go inside without the wizard seeing us. Follow me. The princess went to one of the walls of the house and pushed it. A small door opened. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And Lucy and the princess went in there was a long staircase, which led to a big room. And there on a table was the crown and next to it, on the floor was the carriage, but when they approached the table, two big traps fell on Lucy and the princess. Oh no! Then the wizard appeared out of nowhere and said, You thought you could fool me? <laughs> and that's where we're going to end for today. Now, think about what do you think will happen. Will they stay there forever? Will they get out? Will they get the carriage? Who knows? We'll find out in the next video. Bye! See you guys!